Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, welcome back to our Tasso Legendary Let's Play. This is episode 35. We picked up from turn 111 in the harvest season of 212. So as I'm recording this episode, 8 Princes is out, and that means patch 1.2 is out. So there's been a few changes to the base game. Uh, we will explore those changes when they come up. Uh, we'll continue where we left off last episode. Uh, we broke down the peace that we maintained for over almost two episodes. It was quite impressive to enter peace during the mid game where we managed to get everyone to like us. I mean, they still love us now. Look how green our map is. Even the faction we're at war with, Ma Teng, they love us, right? They love us, but we're at war with them. Mainly because the target we chose to attack was the Han Empire. And since they currently possess the Child Emperor, so, um, well, he doesn't look like a kid anymore. I guess he's grown a quite bit older now. Um, since he possessed the Emperor, uh, they're essentially his vassals. So once we attack them, uh, they drag into a war with us. Uh, we decide to go to war mainly because of greed. Uh, we really, really wanted Shang Yun's weapons craftsmen. Because we want to get those uh, legendary weapons for our uh, generals. So we grabbed it. And we're now in war with uh, Ma Teng out west. So we'll take this chance and expand out west. Uh, we'll push in and see what we can take. So we have a few things to take out first. There's a level up. Uh, he is just, let's see, commerce. Okay, so he's gonna be a future administrator. It's pretty decent. Let's give him this. Um, Sun Quan getting creative. That's good for him. And let's flip through our armies. Um, this is going to be a future army. Right now, we just haven't done much with it. Um, let's see, let's see. So we grab Shang Yong. We have an army approaching from the north. This is Ma Teng's army, Ma Chu. So this is a pretty important character. He's uh, their grand commandant. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually pop outside of the city and go into ambush mode. Or I can just fight him. Mm, he has a trebuchet. Actually, ambush mode might be quite good here, even though I personally don't like ambush mode. But it should help us out. We can also use the garrison forces during that ambush mode, even though they're kind of depleted from us just taking them. Uh, we can also activate Lü Bu's army. Uh, the difficult part is getting to Shang Yong takes a long time. And afterwards, we can't really go anywhere else because um, there's Kong Rong and uh, Yuan Shu's forces, Yuan Shao's forces in the way before we can reach uh, more of Ma Teng's cities. And I don't want to actually get into a war with Kong Rong right now. So he should probably just stay put in case uh, Ma Teng sends an army down this main road here. Uh, towards us. Uh, this force over here is obviously another deterrent force against uh, the forces out east and north. Uh, we're wasting money, but you know, it's a small cost. Um, elsewhere, uh, this force, we're temporarily holding her out here. One, she has a problem in terms of her satisfaction with us is not that great so we pulled her out and we also want to recruit a few generals to go along with her for a future force um i kind of forgot who we want to team her up with uh, she's a strategist you two yeah i think it's you two and there's gonna be a vanguard unit oh i played too much eight princes today I'm kind of lost on what we're doing. Oh, I remember. Last time we mentioned that we don't have a, a new vanguard and we should recruit a new vanguard when possible. But the problem is all the vanguard that are in our pool have disloyal, so they're terrible right now. So she's holding out for a good vanguard. Okay, I think that's right. Um, Donghai. Donghai is fine. Guangling is fine. Xiangxia is fine. Okay, we need to build up Xiangya. Uh, yeah, in this case, the inbuilding takes precedence. 
Yangzhou. We're building up the conscription here. All right, I think we're good. Um, everything else is defensive. We're waiting for Ma Teng to step into us. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to go take Shang Yong. Going this way is very difficult. Um, I think what we're going to actually do after fighting him off is to go this way into Ba and take Ba Si and perhaps go to war with some of these factions down uh, west. Or we can dig it back up, grab Ba Si and then somehow maybe go to war with Zhang Lu. Zhang Lu is not that much of a threat. If we take Han Zhong, uh, we can go up and grab all these land from Ma Teng and then we'll have control of the west. Uh, probably push us into Emperor and then we can match the Wu Kingdom down there. So let's just go to next turn. Alright, surprise, surprise, our 100% ambush succeeded, but we're not favored in this fight in the ambush. Uh, we can do night battle, still not favored. Wait, does night battle cancel ambush? It shouldn't, right? Control larger army. Uh, it cancels out our own reinforcement, that's what it does. This group right here. This group is worthless. I don't want them. I'd rather take the morale penalty on the enemy. Um... So we're just going to be fighting this uh, straight up and see how we do. Alrighty, this is an ambush fight. One of my least favorite fights in the game. I don't like spreading out my forces. Um, seems like they're marching this way and the escape is... Which way is the escape? Where's that box? It should be here basically. Um, we The one advantage is we have really good access to their trebuchet, which is right here. The disadvantage is our archer is not going to be firing. Um, let me think. This is a nice opening here, which I actually like. I'm going to place my trebuchet here. And I'm going to place all my range unit here as well. Basically, I'm going to fight this like a regular fight, even though it's an ambush fight. And I'm just going to first pound their trebuchet with my trebuchet. That's the only difference. And I'm going to hide my cavalry. Their range units really just some E archers. They don't have many range units. So that's not going to be a big issue. Um, hmm, what am I going to do with my cavalry? I feel like they can just stay hidden for a little bit. They can come out and surprise people a little bit later. Gotta make sure everyone is hidden though. There we go. And then we're still gonna do the same setup with our infantry as before. Alright. Fire arrows would be nice with these forests. They nerfed a uh, flaming shot. Yeah, the explosion damage is definitely a lot less and the armor piercing. Yeah, so now the sum of it, so range damage go down to 600, you lose that, you gain a little bit of explosion damage, and you lose attack rate. Well, given the map, I'll still use Flaming Shot. We'll see how it feels. If it feels like it's super nerfed, I might go back to regular shot, but we'll see. It's definitely not just blindly go for um, Flaming Shot no matter the weather, which might be nice. Alright, I think that's all my units properly arranged. We'll start with this unit right here, and we're going to pound their trebuchets. That's really the only advantage we have here in this fight. They don't see us, they don't see us until we hit them, basically. Does the one commander want to duel? Character cannot duel. Wait, why can't she duel? Because she's a commander? I thought... Okay, out of range. Was that just a typo? Alright. Well, our general's doing fine. The trebuchet units is down. Okay, down for the count. Now we can focus fire on the archers. Alright, that group is done. Can we get a duel? Yes, we can. Alright, so we're gonna duel the general. She has no good items. She has no good stats. And everyone else should fire will. Please fire will. If they don't, I'm so mad. Uh, we can't see the units, so... We should probably just fire here. Alright. Use our ability. 
Ooh, they're firing. Yeah, see, 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 see the units? They're not firing back. This is so dumb. They have auto fire on, but they're not firing. And then when you ask them to fire, they walk around like idiots. Alright. Time to surprise them. I think they're trying to regroup here. Let's kill that off, and then we'll come back over here from the flank. Have Xia Hou Yuan come here. Use the ability one more time. Alright, at least the spear units know how to fight. These guys are just useless in this fight. They're not firing. See, they're not firing. No fire arrows coming out automatically. Just doesn't make any sense. Alright. Come on. And he's just, he's just pounding in the same spot. Alright, can we kill her, please? It's about time. Come on. There we go. Now he can go help. Alright, they can come out and help. Seriously, everyone's an idiot. Everyone's not firing. They're getting murdered and they're not firing. Alright, he's back on his horse soon. Okay, good. Go chase them. They need to help the front line here. Alright, now it's hammer and anvoy time. There we go. Alright. Break out. Push. Break out. Yeah, they're not firing. Alright, this should be a pretty easy fight now. Um, I think this is pretty much over. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna chase down all the units. And that's the, it for this episode, I think. <laughs> for this fight. For this fight. Uh, I hate ambush fights. Don't know why I decided to go to ambush mode. Alrighty, wrapped up that fight, despite it being an ambush fight. Alright, we won that battle. Didn't lose that many men. Uh, we captured Ma Xiu. So he has Unbreakable. He actually is rivals with Ma Teng. Interesting. Um, he has a lot of good stats. Unbreakable, Honest, I think Scarred. Yeah, these are all really good stats. We might recruit him. Yeah, let's employ him. And he doesn't want to join us. Uh, he doesn't have any items either, so we're just going to release him. We'll take some replenishment for healing. Alrighty, so Ma Teng signed a peace treaty with uh, Yu Ming Xia, so she's all the way down west. And Xia Huyan gained some experience for chasing down enemy, random event, uh, spy dispatched to Kingdom of Wu, okay. We also have a spy coming back. Yeah, so we probably have an empty slot. Let's see, did they come back already? Mm, it's growing too fast. Ma Xiu is willing to go spy for us, but I think I want to keep him, he's quite useful. Mm, maybe we don't need a spy right now. Two spies might be too much. Oh my god. This is because of the patch. Because I think the patch decreases the amount of bonuses that the Han Empire gets. Oh my god. So all these guys usually would go to the Han Empire. But because of the recent patch, they're more likely to be recruited by you instead of just go to the Han Empire and be stashed away. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Okay. We're going to have to basically reroute this episode 
to be a recruitment episode because of the hot influx from the patch. First, what we're going to look for is people with unique taglines. So you have all these preacher, hunter, these are just normal. Oh, there's Da Qiao. Okay. So Da Qiao here, artful, philanthropic, arrogant, deceitful, creative. She didn't get a new tagline, but we know who she is. Very famous Da Qiao. Uh, let's see. No one is really Guo Tu is actually pretty famous too. No one's got no one's got a unique tagline. But here, ooh, Wei Huang doesn't matter who he is. He has a gold armor. He is joining us. And uh, we were right here. Uh, Yi Jian Li Ting. Okay, she used to have her own faction, or she was part. She was Wang Kun's wife. She ends up being a faction leader in a lot of games. Um, no one, no one super unique. No one with a Li Meng. Li Meng is this? No, I don't know who this is actually. Um, no one super unique. But we did get one legendary armor out of this. Uh, Sima Liang. It's gonna take forever to look through these. We should look at the vanguards though. We're missing a vanguard. This is not bad. Not many negative traits. Yeah, this is also pretty good. Uh, so there's two candidates right there. Yeah, this one has disloyal past. Ooh, this has a lot of good traits. If that was brilliant, it would be better. That same symbol shared but bright and brilliant. 112, that's pretty high. Yeah, that's not a bad candidate. Um, Cao Chun. 10 plus 10 speed, I like. Minus 10 chance of capturing. Melee evasion. Minus 10 experience. That's not that great. Uh, Guan Ping. This is Guan Yu's adopted son. Charge speed, movement speed. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. We found our guy. He's 45. He's a little old, but that's a good one. Scare is good too. Uh, military supply experience. This doesn't sound bad actually. Wait, he was part of our faction? Did we hire him and throw him away? Did we lose him? I don't remember having this guy. What happened to you? We threw you away? I mean, scare is obviously good. High instinct is good. He's 51. He's a little old. Guanping is 45. A little lower on in terms of level, but... In terms of traits, he has more traits, and uh, energetic is really good. I'm gonna hire Guanping. Okay, so we have our new vanguard now, so that's good. And that didn't take too long. Um, for our champion that we just got, this guy right here, I don't think we're gonna be keeping him. I guess we could. His stats are not that bad. We are going to be stripping him of that, though. We're going to give it to one of our generals who's currently fighting. Most likely him. They both have silver tier, which is pretty good. But this is gold tier, so... I'm going to give you just a standard armor, I guess? Yeah, we'll just give you a very standard one. I'm sorry. If we use you later on, you'll have a better one. Um, I think he's in Lü Bu's army, and he's out east so we're gonna do Li Bu's army first we're gonna all give him this one right here cool awesome 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 um all right we're good with that uh we're gonna keep that guy so eat into our salary a little bit but it's fine so we beat back ma Teng's army uh it's time to go out west uh no point to chase the han we're gonna go to here so we can replenish for one more turn and then we're gonna attack Ooh, another army here 
Should we go into ambush mode? I don't want to go to ambush mode. I'd rather just fight him in the field. He also doesn't have a trebuchet, so I don't see a point. Okay, there's some really high-ranking people in this one. This is an administrator here, and there's a grand commandant. So, this will be interesting. Um, other armies are good it's in terms of commanderies. There we go. We build a new slot, which we are going to build... What am I going to build? Market worth. Yeah, we haven't done the market worth building yet. If we look at Jianye for a second here, actually, that market worth building that we just built, it cost us 431 gold. Because there's what? 10% here, 10% 10 10 here, 10% here, 10% here. 30% discount. Com uh, and then our administrator is... 29% so 60% discount not that bad we can up it by a little bit we should probably build this and then it'd be cheaper to build the other one and it's only two turns so we'll do this first and then we'll just save a little money there you know every little spit counts um, I'm gonna reduce corruption by a bit yeah let's do that before we upgrade the private workshop to level 5 Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, upgrade this. Okay, uh, we can move on to next turn. Alright, Gongsun Zan is willing to pay us to sign a non aggression pack. Uh, we're ha happy to accept. Oh, can't get more money. So we'll just take whatever he's offering right here. Alright, his army did come at us head on. Um, he believes he can win. Uh, he has some Tin Marauder, Tin Hunter. These are their faction unique unit, quite strong cavalry units. But we have a pretty steady front line and uh, we have our range advantage here, so we'll be fine. Uh, they, I believe they also have night battle, that's why our night battle is disabled. Oh, also because we're not initiating a fight, that's right. That is why, because they are fighting us, so we can't activate night battle. But we'll happily take this fight on the field, so let's go. Alrighty, it's raining once again. Uh, enemies from that side will be trying to fight in an open spot. Since it's raining, it's a good excuse to not go for the flaming shot. Let's see if we still can do the same amount of damage in a fight. Um, since we're not in an ambush fight this time, we don't have to worry about not auto firing. So that'd be good. Um, let's see. I want to move our archers a little bit this side this time, just because the trees are kind of in the way there. Uh, they have a lot of cavalry, so we have to be very careful with our front line. Have to make sure they can't get access to our range unit. Have to block them off pretty hard here. And then we have to use one spear unit on the side. Yeah, that works. Um, we'll trust them and turn off all the skirmish mode so they don't run away by themselves randomly. And this side will hide a unit here. Same effect. If they come in from the forest, we can block that. Um, we will hide our cavalry a bit farther uh, in the forest here. Perfect. Sao so can lead that. Sao so can pick up any duels, and he's over here shooting at people and debuffing people who run up to the line. Alright, let's run. Anyone wants a duel? Yeah, yeah, seems like uh, most of them want a duel. That's good. Uh, let's see, who, anyone really strong to watch out for? No, that's fine. Not that strong, not that strong. We'll start... I mean, he's level 5. He might take us a while. We should start with the easy ones and work our way to the harder ones. He's probably the easiest to kill. Our tribuches are firing into the forested area. Not that great, but... Xiao Duan can come here. Alright, there's those cavalry archers. would be very interesting. I wonder if they will just hover around and shoot at my units. That would be pretty interesting to see. Actually, we should have this unit going to circle to absorb some of that fire. Uh, should probably go here and then go to circle. A little bit more forward. There we go. So that way, maybe we'll give the archery range cavalry unit something to shoot at. Other than our uh, archers in the side. Alright, there we go. Let's start with her. She's level 2. 
Uh, once we get her killed, we can fight the other two. Oh, she knocked us off our horse. All right, see their cavalry's moving in. All right, we'll seal off her. She used it already. Uh, it's really just a range block chance, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a uh, melee evasion. Oh, we should have used. We should have blocked her cooldowns. And this will slow down this fight. All right, our range units are firing. Oh, they bump into us. Oh, that's not good. This just by accident, or they know I'm hiding here? That makes no sense. How the AI can find us in this forest? At least we're in the forest, so the the arrows will not. Uh, hurt us as much. Uh, we might as well pick up a duel. Uh, maybe not. Actually, she's right here. We'll pick up that duel. Alright, he's dying. He ran into our cavalry and started dying. Alright, there you go. He's He's gone. Let's kill this uh, axe man right here. Why are they surrounding my general? It just happened this is where the range hits. Alright. The cavalry's bumped into our... Uh, well, actually, their units bumped into our line. The cavalry tried to flank, but didn't really get there. Uh, this group is doing great. Time to charge out. Uh, one at each group of archers would be perfect. We're getting killed by the archers, by the way. They're just peppering us with shots. This is about to win right here. And the cavalry is running in. Look at that. Getting routed by the cavalry. Alright. Sahodun has also won the fight against the enemy general. That should decrease the morale even more. And the cavalry can go back and finish off the units that are in the front. Sahodun, I'll look at him a little bit later. Uh, oh, wow, so fierce. Okay, charge back. Debuff, forgot about that. Alright. Come on. Sahodun, kill him. Kill her. There we go, perfect timing. Alright, they're all routing away. Um, I'll chase for a little bit and cut it out. Alright, see you guys at the end. Alright. See, to me, that's a much easier fight than the ambush fight. Like, we could have ambushed there for probably 100%. He probably walked into it. But right now, it's just easier for me. That fight. Ooh. Bright, populous. Well, oh, he's also friends with. He's Othorn with Huang. Oh, he's related to our guy. He's Huang Zhu's little brother? Uh. I'm inclined to recruit him then. His trait's not that great. She's got one eye. She has no good items. He has one armor. You know what? I'll release both. Yeah. Release, release. Replenishment. Alright, our spy was recruited by Kingdom of Wu. That's good. Wavering spy loyalty right away? Come on. Alright, Yuan Xi and Sun Quan is forming even a deeper friendship. As long as they're not brooding about how to overthrow their adopted clan, it's good. Two turns. Well, that's fast. That is really fast. Huh, we just don't have any cover. Let's try if we can increase our cover this way. Yeah, 8 per turn, so we have 12 next turn. I need to get enough to do larceny to run back. 2 turns. Might not be enough. Ooh. I could disown him. That's hey, is this a new button? Anyways, we'll see what happens in two turns. Uh, if we lose him, we lose him. Uh, we gained an iron snake, cool. And who gained trait? 
Sun Gang. Okay, so he's a kid of Sun Quan, who's in our faction. Dutiful. This is one of our kids. Could be a son. Could be a grandson. We have too many kids now to keep track of. Uh, so we beat him back. He escaped back towards the farmland. Uh, so now we can just grab the farmland and uh, let's first take care of everything. Because after that battle, I think we're going to end this episode as we are heading out west. Relatively short episode, but um, we did get that exciting influx of characters to recruit. Let's continue to box. Alright, there's an army behind them, but doesn't matter. We'll be fighting this uh, with our tribuches. Should be pretty quick. Let's jump in here. Alrighty, not really going to be an impressive battle. There's no fortifications. They're going to be marching out in the snow. I am going to continue to use the flaming shot here. I don't think the snow impacts them at all for this shot. It's really just movement speed. Which they actually buffed. It used to be minus 25% speed in the snow. Now it's minus 15%. So it's actually easier for them to gap clothes. Mainly want to hit them in terms of their morale. Alright, they still have some cavalry units around. Uh, but this should definitely do it. If they want to duel, which I highly doubt. They can just hide. Alright. Let's speed them up so they can walk to their death faster. Two cavalry units left. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the splash damage nerf does hurt it a bit. Because I think that's what used to kill all the cavalry units when they shot at them. Although we can just shoot at the clumps. We don't need to shoot at the cavalry units. The archer militia unit in the front. Yeah, they're still doing good damage, and then the fire obviously has the impact of hurting morale, so that works. Charge our guy out. Uh, go, let's charge at them. Okay, the general died to uh, Tribuche fire. Haven't seen that in a while. Alright, those shattered. Alright, we won. That was quick. Alrighty, that was quick. And we captured him again. And uh, we're releasing him again. Who does he think he is? Meng Huo. Our guys hate him now. Uh, whatever, he can go. Alright, let's occupy. Alright, there's another Ma Teng army over here. It's pretty, uh, it's fresh. They just recruited it. It's an, it's not, I don't think it's injured. I just think it's just not fully replenished. Um, so we're now touching Liu Zhang's territory in uh, Shu. There's a nice armory right here that we are interested in. Uh, but we have to take care of Ma Teng first. Um, elsewhere, we're doing pretty good. Um, there's a stray army from Kongrong walking our territory, but nothing we can do about that. Um, I am going to end turn, and if nothing happens during the end turn phase, we'll wrap it up at the beginning of the next turn. Ah, Liu Zhang is offering us a non-aggression pack. I think it's fine. I mean, we're not going to go to war with him right away. We have to take care of Ma Teng first. Well, that is huge amount. Can we get a land from you? Huh. That copper mine looks good. Nope. Uh, what can we get from you with this 10 points? Tempered iron steel. I mean, we have... How much is this worth? 10.9? Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, I guess we'll just take gold in two different forms. Mainly per turn. Maybe go to 6 or 7 with this. Oh, 7. That's a big jump. So far, not bad. Okay, that's a big jump right there. Almost. Come on. 
There we go. Alright, so 6,500 gold. Alright, Han Sui has died and Han Xing has uh, come of age and take the new clan. Good for him. Another influx. Xu Chu. Oh my god. The guy who our save file messed up and didn't get. He's back. Tiger Fool. He went to the high part. So, we had this earlier in our campaign. Very early on, we got Xu Chu and Dian Wei. Dian Wei obviously died tragically. But Xu Chu, I messed up with a save file in terms of legendary. Because if you don't end your legendary campaign after a battle or at end of a turn, the save file becomes different when you reload. So I actually got Xu Chu at during uh, after a battle, and I ended the turn, and I closed it, and then by the time I came back, Xu Chu was gone. So it was very sad. But now we have him back. Recruit. So we're gonna play one more turn to make sure we keep him. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. So last time I recruited him, I just ended the campaign, closed out, and there was no auto save because you can't manual save during legendary. So that was tragic. We're not gonna let that happen again. This guy's pretty good. This guy's pretty good. Um, also, he's 34. So we're gonna recruit him. We're gonna need a backup um, vanguard anyways in case one of our other vanguard dies. Uh, this guy's not shash. Uh, not guy. Not not bad either. But I don't think I need him. Oh, I'm so excited. We got Shuchu back. So the new new patch does help. It kicks out these legendary characters out of the Han and into your arms. Mm, this is not so good. Zhang Song. Uh, I already think I already talked about him. Okay, I think we're good. Ah, uh, anyway, Xu Chu is. That's all we care about, honestly. Gain a merchant. Good for us. Uh, creative. All right, so let's quickly do this turn. Save it. Make sure we get Xuchu locked into our faction. Don't really care about this large town. Um, I guess we'll go take Basi right now. Uh, let's walk a little bit this way. The road's really bad out here. Hmm. There's an army maybe here in ambush. We saw them run out. But we don't know what mode they ended their turn in. So maybe we should just go here. And take the road down. It's really hard to see, but there's a road right here. Down here. So we can reach that next turn. And then turn our attention back north. Uh, we're going to let Ma Teng keep a large town here. Not really care if he has that or not. Same same thing here with Shang Yong. Uh, let's look at all our cities. Donghai is fine. So basically, we need more reforms. Ah, Jiangling. Stanley is a great commandery. Uh, governments. So, governments uh, support, and then we need to build it in. We need to build a lot of buildings for this. Uh, yet we can finally build that market worth. It's cheaper now by like, I don't know, 60 gold, 40 gold. It's not really significant savings. I just wanted to finish building that for the 190% commerce income boost. All right. It's perfect. We also have a Simon out. Um, same thing here. Let's build this. Yeah, it's time to build it. Ah, we can change it to the militarized one for just better defense, better local replenishment. We don't really need that much food. Uh, we can reconsider it later, but we should go for that route for now. And everything's good. We can pick a new reform, which is going to be key because a lot of our buildings are locked behind reform right now, including some of the agriculture ones like here, fishing port right here, uh, level five copper mines right here. And this one is level five state workshop. That's the pure gold version right here. Not so significant because we can get by with just the level five corruption version. Level five in. This one we actually need. This one's going to be important. So we should take this and then go here. This also enables level 4 marketplace. So next time we can grab Wei Qi. Alright, so that's good. 
who makes the most money? Yeah, yeah, makes the most money. Um, everyone's good here though. Uh, so moving on, Nanyang. He's also decent. We can actually do we have a surplus market? Because this is both commerce and industry. There we go, surplus market. Liu Yu. Liu Yu. Not Liu Yu. Keep saying his name wrong. Alright, that's good. And that's all the commanders, I believe. Yes, I think that's everyone. Okay, uh, let's end turn just to make sure we have. Oh, actually, spies. This guy is going to flip next turn. So, what can we do during this turn? Sure, why don't we disrupt their trade power? There's nothing we really can do. This is the best thing because we can't do large. Uh, it would be so great if we had a little bit more cover, but we don't. So we just have to go this route. And we can do it twice. And then we can disown him. Yeah, this is the same result as him defecting. This is us saying to you, you're fired. Even though he's telling us that he's quitting. Yeah. Uh, do we have a replacement spy? Uh, Ma Xiu. I mean, I guess we could send him out. He's pretty decent, but we have a lot of strategists that could do stuff, including our son. Oh, he has a great tree. This is a great military tree. But he has low cunning. That's not good. Alright, we'll send him out. Why does he have a weapon like that? There we go. Now we can send him out. Oh my god, male sensitivity. There we go. Um, back to Kingdom of Wu. Try again. Okay. Um, I think that wraps up. Let's end turn so we lock in Xu Chu. And then we can put Xu Chu in that new army we're going to make. Xu Chu is right here. Got to make sure my baby's all right. Look at that weapon. Giant Spain. Amazing weapon. Very cool armor. Sleeveless. All the rage. Uh, I thought we had a guard. Uh, military structure. That's, that's perfect. Oh, we do have a guard. But we want this one, perhaps? Let's see. Does he have any chance of owning a pair? Nope. Uh, we'll give him the snake for better dodging, melee evasion. And let's end turn. Okay, Yuan Shao's old faction, now led by Feng Li Juan, is back to her old, old, their old tricks of asking people to join their coalition, uh, to become vassals. Uh, we're not going to do that. Okay, so uh, we're going to wrap up the episode right here. We'll quickly look through these and call it an episode. Very happy we have Xu Chu locked down. Ma Teng vassalized Liu Zhang, so now the issue is Liu Zhang it could be our enemy because we're at war with Ma Teng. That is actually fine. I actually welcome this because we want to take their land and we got their money last turn. At least the thousand gold that's not per turn locked in from the non-aggression pack. Zhang Lu, also someone we want to kill, the Hanzhong faction. Cao Jie comes of age, so our son, who's a vanguard, who we also had the option of using for our vanguard, is also come of age. Cao Xie, father. So our strategist dad has given a birth to us. So this is a grandson. All right, great. So we're going to wrap up right here. Come back next time. We're going to put Xu Chu in a new army, and we're going to send the tiger fu out maybe south uh, to potentially be the southern force to take out Sun Ce. So see you all next time. Bye.